not too far out of town and uh, actually it was just there cutting, cutting, uh, testing on McCullough the other day. Anyway, I called and uh, said he's, uh, he's kind of buried in the mud. He slid off the road, so I know where he's at exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a wet spot and uh, it just rained for two days, so he's kind of just about to turn around. cut blocks up there. The trail goes all the way up through those hills and uh, right at the bottom is where it's really really muddy. And I think there's clay in there and stuff so it's super super slippery. Anyway, we'll go see where he's at. Yeah, so uh, the last time I pulled somebody out of this spot was about five years ago when they were logging it. They had they had a bridge right here across the creek, and um, my buddy just wanted to see where they they were logging, so he was going, just checking it out, and got stuck. And I had to anchor to the bridge with my jeep, and then I had my winch, which was an 8,500 pound winch, and then I uh, I had to put snatch block on top of that, and it was a really really tough pull, and I remember it was through this section where I was cutting the other day. So that's why those big logs are probably put there just because it was so brutally muddy and wet and uh, they took the bridge out now. So anyway, he just made it just around that bend and uh, I'm gonna try and go in, turn around and back up the trail. He's not far around the bend from where I was cutting. So we'll see how this goes, but my tires are like uh, Yokohama racing slicks right now. They're, they're on their last legs. So, and I think I got like 65 PSI in them. So we'll see how it goes, but I'll I'll probably have to drop them down to like 18 or 20 PSI to get some traction. And then we have slings and he has a chain, so hopefully I can pull him out. I can hear a grouse right now. Flapping his wings. So yeah, there's where we're cutting. I got to go up that trail there. And it's super wet right now. So I'm going to try backing up that hill. And then he's just around the bend there. So I'll go and turn around right here. And then we'll back in. See, it's pretty wet there. I don't usually take my truck out when it's too wet. Uh, just because then you get stuck. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Backwards. Let's see if we get stuck here going up. I'll let you know. I couldn't make it up. We're, uh, we're gonna have to let some air. I got like 65 pounds of air and even when you have brand new tires, that's not, that's not good. There's a stick stabber. So yeah, we're just going to let some air. I'll go down to like 20 PSI and we should just crawl right up there. I just heard his dogs bark, so he's not that far. Yeah, I couldn't make it up there. It's just too greasy. Just up that little hill. This thing's got no lockers or nothing. It doesn't help. No limited slip, no nothing. Just one wheel peel front or back. I didn't have my uh, tire gauge with me. Um, the air pressure, so I just counted to 40, but I don't know. I probably got still probably still have 30 pounds of air in there 35 so we'll just see i'll just let out as much as i need to but i uh i ditched this out a while ago i see it's working because this is a bit of a mud hole here trail together yeah it doesn't look like much but when you when you don't have much traction it uh you just flip around on this mucky stuff okay we'll try it again okay well i left some air to the tires a couple of times now i keep taking pokes at this hill and I just can't make it. It doesn't look steep but uh, it's just got a little bit of a ledge and mud is uh, you know when you get on mud you just can't uh, you can't 
climb a lot of stuff sometimes with these vehicles. Once it gets down to the hard rock and stuff, then it's not too bad, but I don't even know if I'll make the next. It's just a slight grade, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll let some more, uh, I let some more air out, so we'll try her one more time. If I can't make it, we're going to walk up there and see if we can, if Dex can, uh, he dug it out, so he's going to see if he can get out of there. Dex got out. <laughs> got out. Yeah, I just keep getting sucked down this hill there. It's super slick now. Should dry up with the sun pretty quick, but. So there you go, folks. Dex is almost dead from digging. <laughs> okay, let's take a walk. Yeah, those tires. Wow. They're done. always takes away from it but I don't even think I would have made it up here I should drain that hole that's awesome I I team Chevy I can't believe you did it no damage Holy moly, you did dig a little trench, eh? Well, that's good. Trees for traction. Yeah, well, it dries up right there, eh? Yeah, this was up to here before. Look at that, folks. He did her. My broken shovel, even? Yeah, that's where the trail starts to get better up there. Go well, right on. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Dog's just about dead. Uh oh. Damage, though. I was just zip tied up there. Cool. Well, there you go. We got out, folks. Just a quick, oh. Just a minor adjust. Look at that. Fix. <laughs> okay, well, I thought it was going to be more action than that, but we got out. Well, I got worn out dirt tracks, and he has fierce attitudes. There we go. Can't even tell what they are hardly, eh? But they did the trick. I knew Dex was going to have his dogs out there and it was pretty hot out so I grabbed some of Chevelle's old hiking dog dishes and brought a little bit of water for the dogs there to keep them going. Just out for a rip are you bud? Dogs, they always got to be ripping around the, the wheels of the truck eh? There we go, I made her out. As long as he doesn't slide off this bank. So he's gonna try not to slide off the edge here. It's a little side hilly there. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go, yeah. 
if I got that on camera. There we go. Just like that, Dex. We're just going to walk into my little watering hole where I used to bathe when I first got Chevelle. She was just about three months old, just a little pup. I drove my Jeep and I'd park it and then we'd walk up to the end here. A little bit. Creek right there. Looks like somebody was. That's yeah, been 15 years since I've been here. Nice little spot. I can't remember. I thought maybe it was farther up. I thought it was right at the corner. It might have been right here, but holy smokes, has it ever changed? Yeah, I think it was right here. None of this is uh, knocked over like this. And I dammed up a bunch of rocks. Actually, there's probably the rocks I put in there. Yeah, that's a little pool. This little spot. Right. Yeah, because it gets deeper there. Remember, Chevelle could swim a bit or go up to her chest. Yeah, so I just got in Chevelle. She was just a little pup there, and uh, we were living out of my old motorhome, so we'd just come out to spots like this, and that's where I'd uh, that's where I'd bathe. That's what I did that whole summer. And holy man, that that water is just crazy, crazy cold. Well, they call it Cold Creek for a reason. Dogs are loving it now. Oh, where'd it go? Oh! <laughs> well, she'll go for it. Yeah. There she goes. 